Hello and welcome back to part two of replacing the mess that was masquerading as a drill and charger station. In this video we're going to actually build what we designed in the first. If you haven't seen that there's the link. I suggest you waz over there and have a quick gander and see what we came up with. So I'm going to start by ripping down some scrap pieces of softwood that I've got that are going to act as support on the wall standoffs to bring my French clique out level with the front of the conduit. So I've pre-drilled my standoff blocks at 25mm down and 125mm down. And I'm going to screw them into the timber stud. But even if I don't, the walls of the workshop are lined with 3 quarter inch WBP ply, so is quite capable of supporting these studs and the subsequent shelf. Just moved a little. <coughs> So next I want a piece for the backboard at 310mm. So these are the two side cheeks cut and as per the drawing I want to come in at nads here just so it's not a, a dead straight diagonal down and I'm thinking about 50mm. I drew 50mm in on SketchUp. So we'll go 50mm here with our fabulously easy to see chinois tools. There's a great vid link. Is that getting tiresome yet? I hope not because it could go on for years. And we'll just draw that across there. I think that'll look okay. A little round in there and there. Obviously rounded on the sides. Okay, so let's cut the cheeks off and then I think we can move to the joinery method. Thank you. 
So, the joinery method. We could drill, countersink and screw and glue. Not very elegant. It's the way I did it before, nothing wrong with it, works. Doesn't really add anything to the build, does it? Doesn't make you feel good inside. We could use pocket hole screws. Mm. Not really a lot of difference between direct drilling and pocket hole, I don't think. I don't know, maybe it's stronger, not really sure. But no, it doesn't feel right. We could use dominoes or biscuits. I don't have a biscuit joint, so I've got a domino. Um, I think there's many an argument online about whether one's better than the other. Who cares? I've got this. Um, but the one thing I do know is that that will add strength to the joint because we've got this little beach dowel going through to stop that downward movement. We've also got an increased gluing area. So I think I'm going to go with the dominoes. What say you? I thought as much. If I don't mark the living hell out of the boards that I'm about to cut the domino slots on, or indeed anything, then I get so focused on doing that particular thing. If I haven't got marks everywhere, I forget what I'm supposed to be doing to what face or what size, and inevitably end up making a right pig's ear of it. So I've just put some bracketry on. And I'm just going to mark the fact that that's where I'm going to put the face of the domino cutter in the hope that it will stop me making the proverbial pig's ear. So as far as the cuts are concerned, I'm going to use the little standoffs on the base of the domino to come in from the edge each side and then I think probably 150 200 mil I think 200 mil is ample so I've preset my machine I've checked to make sure I'm at 90 degrees I've got my support bracket on the bottom I've set my height to 9mm and my plunge depth to 15 because I'm using 30mm uh, domino biscuits. So as mentioned, I'm going to pivot in for the end, which gives me, I believe, 37mm in. And then I'm just going to line up on my centre mark and go down to the board and then come in 37 mil this end and repeat the same on the other board. See you on the other side. I've made the mistake before of putting the dominoes into this section first and then popping onto here. And then if for some reason you catch here, they just break out through the back. So I'm not doing that again. That's a winner. Exactly the same process for the side cheeks. 
I'll come in in the corner here both on the bottom and on the back uh, based on the lug on the base of the domino and on the front there and there so I don't need any marks for placement but what I'm going to do once again is mark the living hell out of it Unfortunately, I've made a boo-boo. This slot is referenced off the back edge. This slot is referenced off the front edge. This slot is in the right place. This slot is in the wrong place. I forgot to allow for the 18mm inset of the back panel. So I'm going to have to cut this slot again. It means I'll end up with an elongated slot, which is no big deal. It will be completely hidden but annoying nonetheless. So two side cheeks done. Next I want to cut pieces off of this big board which you can't really see, sorry about that. So I want a 90mm piece, 120mm piece and I want these two pieces which I've forgotten to annotate on the drawing. So I'll go and find out what size they were and then we'll cut a big piece off of this sheet of MDF and then we'll size it down on the table saw cut it to length on the chop saw and we'll repeat the process for the dominoes across the two joints. But hang on a minute, possible change of plan. Why waste a piece at the back there when there's a perfectly serviceable back there? Why not just domino that bottom shelf straight into the back? I like the sound of that. I've just got the back panel of the bottom shelf connected to the bottom panel of the top shelf with some right angle brackets so that I can mark the face of both pieces and mark where I want the dominoes to. So once again I'm going to do the same as I did before. I'll come in based on the lug on the base of the domino from each edge and then I'm going to run at 200mm centres just sighting through and lining up with the crosshair.
and now let's put it all together.